Hey folks, and welcome again to the More Summer 2022 Adventures Day 28. Um, a long day today. We left uh, Jackson at 8.30 this morning and got here a little after 3. We had two delays, Mom, in construction. Two delays in construction. One... <laughs> One, they said, uh, expect delay for 20 minutes, and we ended up being about, about 10, okay? Another one uh, was about the same, and the light turned green. They had the the mechanical, electronic flagman, if you will, so they had signals at the end of the constructions, and and uh, it said about the same, and by the time we pulled up there, we were about the third or fourth in line, just as we were slowing down, the light turned green, so we didn't have to wait, but it was... Uh, you know, construction, 35 mile an hour, that kind of stuff. Another place we had 13 miles of, uh, you know, single lane uh, on a, on, well, on a I-80. Okay. So, uh, and the wind, uh, those of you that, that are familiar with Wyoming and the central and southern part of Wyoming, understand there's wind and we had it today but that wasn't really the hard part uh, the hard part was just the long drive um, when I made the reservations and whatnot there wasn't really any reputable RV parks between here and there that that I would want to stay in all right uh, we did see a lot of them and they were just out there in the middle of nowhere and they can there's no protection from the sun, the wind, etc., etc. So we drove over six hours, which I don't like to do, but we did. And now we are in Craig, Colorado, okay, my home state. All right, um, we've got a we got a few more days, like eleven or twelve days before we get to my hometown. But we're in my home state. Having said all that, uh, there's not a whole lot. I don't know what the attraction is for Craig. Uh, but it's it's a fairly good sized little town. Uh, it was so hot in here, we have one air conditioner in this unit. Uh, something about, about Thor. This is an 18. And I think in 17 was the last year that they had two air conditioners. 18, 19, and 20 with single air conditioners. They realized they made a mistake starting in 21, I think it was. They started putting, it might have been 20. Uh, they started putting two air conditioners back in this size. It's a 31 foot uh, Class C. So they started putting it, two air conditioners back in. Folks, let me tell you what. When we got here and got set up, it was warm. All right. It was really warm. But it's cooled down now. We just got back from dinner. Uh, dinner was okay. Uh, we went to a pizza place. The pizza was okay. Then we went across the street to an ice cream place. It was good. <laughs> um, I, 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 you know, you know me. I enjoy my ice cream. They didn't have coconut, but I had something they called a yappa berry, which is basically. Uh, chocolate um almost like cocoa puffs but they were the size of bb's okay and a raspberry ice cream and it, it wasn't bad it wasn't bad I, I almost thought about going back for seconds but i did <laughs> pizza was okay all right uh, i don't know really waiting for an hour plus to uh to get it was worth the wait but the pizza itself was okay and uh, you can check out my facebook page if you want to know where it was i won't say anything else other than that except it was across the street from the ice cream place down the road but good news we're in my home state <laughs> i'm getting a, jerry is becoming a little happier camper okay in my home state so having said all that, I just got to notice that this is getting hot. So let me go ahead and give you the scriptures. Philippians 4, 9. 
the things which you learned and received and heard and saw in me, please do, and the God of peace will be with you. In another one, uh, another version, you know, the things which you have learned, received, or heard, seen in me, practice these things in daily life. And the God who is the source of peace and well-being will be with you. What it boils down to, folks, is living a Christian life. That's what Paul is talking about to the church of Philippi. You know, he's saying, look, you've seen me do this. You see how I walk. You see how I talk. You see what I do. Do this. You saw, you know, I've written you. I was there. I taught you. I've written you letters. Follow, follow that. Okay? That's what he is saying. And to be Christ-like. Because if you're Christ-like, if you're in the will of God, God is going to be with you. That's what that last one says. Uh, ooh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm trying to get ahead of myself. Practice these things in daily life, and the God who is the source of peace and well-being will be with you. Another version. Practice what you've learned, received, heard, and seen in me. Model your way of living on it, and the God of peace, of untroubled, undisturbed well-being will be with you. Folks, that's all it takes. That's all it takes, and I... I know I'm rushing this, but I want to get this video done before my phone uh, uh, turns off because it, I just got like I say I got the the phone is hot message, so I want. But what it's saying there is is live a Christ-like life, and if you have the Holy Spirit in you, if you have given your heart to Christ, if you are a follower of Christ, you are going to want to do those things. That Christ said to do. That Paul to the church of Philippi is said to do. And if you don't know Christ as your personal Savior, I encourage you to say, Heavenly Father, forgive me for my sins. You know, just repeat it after me. Heavenly Father, forgive me for my sins. Cover me with the blood that Christ shed on the cross. That he gave his life so many years ago for me before I was even born. Holy Spirit, come within me. Direct me. Guide me. Counsel me in my readings and in my prayer. And help me and guide me, Lord Jesus. Forgive me for my sins. In your name I pray. Amen. Simple as that. Find a friend that's a Christian. Tell him that you've given your life to Christ and ask them to help you. Him or her. Them. To help you. And find a church. Read your Bible every day pray every day and ask the Holy Spirit to direct you because he will folks we're going to be on the road again tomorrow I can't tell you where we're going to end up but um, we were going to be here two nights now we're not um, as hot as it is here we want to get someplace else so uh, we canceled our reservation here for tomorrow we'll be leaving in the morning God bless you we will come to you tomorrow from someplace else in Colorado good night God bless